Now to the race for the White House. A frightening new pitch from Donald Trump today that former Congresswoman Liz Cheney should stand with nine barrels shooting at her. Both Trump and Kamala Harris making their other last pitches to Americans in battleground states. Mr. Trump at rallies in Wisconsin and Michigan. Harris also holding campaign events in Wisigan, Wisconsin. I'm going to get this right because it's a You've big deal. A state with 10 electoral votes that in the past four elections, just did listen to this, would go on to determine the election of a president. I want to do reporter Sandra Bookman covering the candidates for us. Sandra. As close as the 2024 race for the White House is, the closing arguments from Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump could not be further apart in style or, it seems, in the universe of voters they're trying to reach in these final days. I've lived the promise of America, and I see the promise of America in everyone here. And we will stop illegal immigration once and for all. We will not be invaded. We will not be occupied. Campaigning in crucial battleground western states last night, the former president fired up supporters by leaning into a mix of the violent and inflammatory, this time targeting former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney, who has endorsed Harris. She's a radical war hawk. Let's put her with a rifle standing there with nine barrels shooting at her, okay? Let's see how she feels about it. You know, when the guns are trained on her face. Anyone who wants to be president of the United States who uses that kind of violent rhetoric is clearly disqualified and unqualified to be president. The vice president addressing Mr. Trump's comments about Cheney as she landed in Wisconsin earlier today. Both candidates, in fact, will be making their final pitches to voters in that important swing state, holding dueling rallies within seven miles of one another later tonight. Part of her closing argument, reminding voters there is an alternative to her opponent's dark vision of America. America deserves better than what Donald Trump is offering. Now, back in 2016, Hillary Clinton did not campaign in Wisconsin after her primary loss there. That's a mistake Harris is not repeating. This is her ninth stop in that state. It will be Donald Trump's tenth. Back to you in the studio.